So I just graduated from university as a pre-medical student. And one thing that made me sort of uneasy throughout the whole four years is that it's not easy to find information online on exactly what classes pre-meds have to take and how those classes are. One place I think mostly everyone goes to for this type of information is their college advisor. But unfortunately, some college advisors can be pretty shit. So I'm making this video to hopefully help you plan your four years of coursework in undergrad. But before I jump into my schedule and the classes that I took, I wanna give two quick disclaimers. One, some schools have it built in pre-medical track either through their degree or you can declare this through your college advisor but I attended a liberal arts school so this was an option for me so I decided to just major in biology. In college I was actually a double major in bio and psych but since a psych degree isn't necessary for a pre-med I'm just gonna ignore all those classes that I took. And my second disclaimer unlike most schools that operate on the semester system my school actually operated on the trimester system so I only took three to four courses per term and my terms were only 10 weeks long compared to the traditional 15 weeks per term. So the first pre-med class that I ever took was honors intro chemistry with lab during my fall term of my freshman year at Union College. This class basically combined Gen Chem 1 and Gen Chem 2 into one course in 10 weeks. So yes, basically I was in the library at least five days a week working on it. But luckily I had a pretty solid foundation of chemistry from AP Chemistry, so the class wasn't too bad for me, but I definitely do wish it was a little less fast paced. Also, if you're a bio major like me in college, I would recommend that you actually do differently than what I did. I recommend that you actually take Gen Chem 1 and Gen Chem 2 because med schools require you to have two years of chemistry anyways. So just having that ability to have Gen Chem 1 and Gen Chem 2 and achieve higher grades in those classes, even though you might've taken AP Chemistry, is gonna be really beneficial for your GPA and just make you a stronger candidate for med schools. In this class, we covered things such as atomic structure, chemical bonding, kinematics, equilibrium, and acid-based chemistry. I also took single variable calculus that term because of my school's core curriculum requirement, and it actually benefited me a lot since it gave me a nice boost inside my math science GPA because I already took Calc BC in high school. To be honest, at this point in college, things didn't really feel all too different from high school. I mean, I had a lot more free time, but I was also in the peak of pandemic, and there was only freshmen on campus. Anyways, eventually, my chemistry class came to an end and it was time for me to take my next pre-med class in my second trimester of my freshman year, which was diversity of life with lab or basically Gen Bio 2. Coming into this class, I knew this class would be a nice change of pace from chemistry where I had to conceptually understand things more than actually memorize them. But in Gen Bio 2, I could just memorize random facts about plants and Mendelian genetics and I'd do pretty well. In this class, we covered things such as evolution and natural selection, plant and animal diversity, ecosystems and biomes and phylogenetics. From this trimester, I was taught my first lesson of my pre-med track, and that is that I really prefer studying cell biology over plants. And that's just because plants to me have no applicability into my future career, so I didn't really want to continue focusing on them into my future studies. Then came my spring term of my freshman year, which I always say is probably one of the hardest terms that I've ever experienced throughout college. Not only was I already mentally exhausted from the winter term, but also COVID, but also I was taking two lab classes in this term in a single 10 week term. And if you know anything about lab classes, you would know that they take up a lot of time per week. Like you have to spend at least three to four hours in the lab weekly and then outside of lab, you have to dedicate a bunch of time working on things like post labs or pre-lab assignments. So in this term, I took cell foundation of life with lab and I also took physics one with lab. And lucky for me, in both of these classes, I had professors who were known for purposely making the class difficult for students. I was sort of worried before taking physics one because I knew I had a pretty poor background on physics. Like the only time I ever even took a physics class was in my sophomore year of high school in which I took one semester of pre-IB physics. And we literally talked about velocity and acceleration the whole term. I still remember coming to my first day of physics class all chill, thinking college was light work, coming off my easy A in Gen Bio 2. And then after an hour of the professor lecturing us and reviewing absolutely everything that I learned in one semester of physics, realizing that I was completely f that I was gonna have to work super hard on this class. In this class, we covered things such as kinematics, dynamics, work and energy, momentum and collisions, rotational motion and statics and fluid mechanics. And then for general biology one, I mean, that was like a whole other story. Like I knew the material from AP biology, but the material was just so difficult when it came to exam day. And so I had to really know the concepts that we were learning in class. In this class, we covered things such as cell structure and function, cell memories and transport, energy transformation in cells, cell communication and signaling, cell division and cell cycle, genetic material and gene expression, and more. So in this class, I actually received the lowest test grade I've ever received in my college career. And I think that was a 53% when the exam average was like a 70 something percent. And it was definitely a low point for me in my college career, but it just made me work 
much harder than I already was and actually made a comeback and ended the class with an A minus. So that just goes to show you that a comeback is always possible and you don't have to like freak out if you do receive one bad test grade. Eventually my spring term of my freshman year came to a close and then I proceeded to rot away for three months and then began my sophomore year. In the fall term of my sophomore year, related to my pre-medical track, I took the dreaded Orgo 1 with lab and also took a upper level biology class titled Topics in Physiology. You might be wondering, what did I do to prepare for Orgo 1? Well, actually, absolutely nothing. And actually, by the time that I got to school, I wasn't even registered for the course. Like I just showed up to the classes for a week straight until the professor had no other option but to allow me to take the course. Also, I do want to mention that I feel like Orgo 1 receives a lot of attention and hype from pre-meds across the country, but I feel like you kind of have to try to blur out this noise and decide for yourself how you feel about the material. Like for some people, it might be easier than others. For the upper level biology course that I took, I actually really enjoyed this course as we just talked about the physiology of a bunch of different organ systems like our brain, our muscles, our heart, our lungs, and our kidney. For this class, I even got to make a video project about lifting weights, which was pretty cool in my opinion. But the one thing about this course is that there was a lot of information and some of it was somewhat dense with a bunch of different things for us to memorize and a bunch of different pathways everywhere. So for this, I not only had to get better at filtering out important information and ignoring unimportant details, but I also had to start to rely on my friends more so that we could study together and refine important concepts to each other. From this trimester, I was taught my second lesson as a pre-med, and that's to have close friends around you who will keep you on your grind. Me and my boy Mayur spent many, many hours the day before bio 206 exams just reviewing every single lecture slide together and making sure that we could explain every single lecture slide to each other and it was pretty great. But also for Orgo 1, anytime I got stuck in studying something or my friends got stuck, we would ask each other questions and explain concepts to each other, which just made studying a lot less frustrating and a little more easy. And also sometimes hearing something from a different perspective than your professor can really refine and help you understand things. So moving on to winter term, after a nice long six week break in which I basically forgot all of Orgo 1, I was now taking Orgo 2 with lab. What was nice for me this term is that related to my pre-med track, I was only taking Orgo 2 this term so I could dedicate my full attention towards it. Unlike Orgo 1, I felt like Orgo 2 was a lot less actually understanding things and more so memorizing reactions and reaction mechanisms, which I was better at. About halfway through the course, or basically near the end of the term, I vividly remember having to fight off feelings of just not caring at all about Orgo, and that's just because I knew that I wasn't going to use any of this material when I entered medical school or even after this class, so I just had to like remember that I needed to do well in the class to even go to medical school. And so this class taught me my third lesson as a pre-med, which is that there's going to be times where you learn things that you don't care about in order to get to the next step of learning things that you do care about. Then came spring term in which the only class I took related to my pre-med track was neurobiology, which actually counted as a math science elective for me. I specifically made this term kind of life for me by only taking neurobio and finally not having to take any lab classes because I was honestly pretty beat from having to take both orgos the last two terms and I just wanted to honestly enjoy my spring term. I actually really enjoyed neurobio and recommend that every pre-med take this class because it has a lot of applicability to things that we're actually gonna focus on and learn in, in med school. In this class, we covered things such as cellular and molecular neurobiology, neurophysiology, neuroanatomy, sensory systems, and motor systems. And before I knew it, I was literally a junior in college. A lot of things had changed for me in my life during my junior year, and one of those things being that me and six of my other friends decided that it would be a great idea for us to all move into one house together. It was in fact not a great idea, and we actually all eventually got kicked out of the house, but that's another story. So during this fall term, the only class I took related to my pre-med track was Bio 205, aka Topics in Molecular Biology. And the nice thing about this class is it didn't have a lab section either. This course is typically known as one of the more difficult courses that you would have to take as a biology major. But for me, I actually really enjoyed this course. And I feel like what prepared me for this was those god awful exams that I was taking in Bio 104. And so I just felt a lot more prepared for the type of exams that were given to us in Bio 205 because of them. In this class, I learned things such as DNA and and RNA structure and function, gene expression and regulation, protein synthesis and regulation, molecular techniques, cell signaling, communication, molecular genetics, and more. An important lesson that I took away from this term, and one of the first times this truly clicked in my head, was to learn material just for the sake of learning it, rather than focusing on the grade so much. Because at this point, I'm in my junior year, my pre-med grade already has quite a bit of buffer built into it because I already took so many classes and did decently well on them. 
So I could eat a couple A minuses here and there. And so it wasn't super important for me to focus on the grade as much, and I should just focus on learning the material itself. In my next term of my junior year, I refused to endure another upstate New York winter, and so I went to go study abroad in London, where the weather conditions were just so much better. This term, I actually didn't take any classes related to my pre-med track, but I did learn a lot of things. Like that British people actually say bruv, and that fish and chips is literally one of the most overhyped things you will ever try. Bruh. Oh, and that Wagamama's Mamas is absolutely fire. Eventually, my study abroad program had to end and I came back to Union actually excited to be there for once. During this spring term of my junior year, I took genetics and molecular biology with lab. At this point in college, I felt pretty confident that I knew what I was doing in my pre-med classes and I even had a pretty set study routine. Of course, I made lots of time to hang out with friends, attend different events, and make sure I was getting all my workouts in. But when it came time to sit down and do work, I had to sit down and do work. That was a non-negotiable for me. And when it came to the class, to be honest, I loved the class. Like the professor was great. He was Canadian, so we bonded over that. But not only that, like the material that we learned inside the class was super applicable to everything that I'm gonna learn in med school. So I was just like really interested in it and enjoyed learning it. And then finally came my senior year of college, which at the time I was like, it's insane that I only have a year left in college already. In my first term of my senior year, I took two upper level bio classes with lab, which were basically a joke compared to the rest of the bio classes that I took through a college. In this term, I took plant ecology with lab and conservation biology with lab. So much for the first lesson that I learned as a pre-med in my freshman year that I really did not want to learn about plants because this upcoming term was literally strictly about plants for 10 weeks straight. Honestly, I took these classes because at this point in college, I was a little tired and I didn't want to invest so much brain energy into learning about complex cellular mechanisms or difficult metabolic pathways. And so I literally just went back to the basics. I was like, let me just learn about some plants. And to be fair, I actually really enjoyed conservation bio and it helped deepen my appreciation for nature and the effect that nature can have on our overall health. Plant ecology on the other hand, yeah, well, that might've been a bit of a waste of time. But on the bright side, I ended this term with an A in both classes, so that was pretty nice. And then in my last two terms of college, I first took Physics 2, and then I also took Survey of Biochemistry, which is basically biochem without lab. I took Physics 2 in my winter term when I was not only trying to fight off seasonal depression, but I was also fumbling my way happily through Physics 2. I was honestly so scarred from my experience in Physics 1 during my spring term of my freshman year that I decided to delay taking Physics 2 up until the last point that I could, and that was literally winter term of my senior year. And then in my last term of college, I was taking a survey of biochemistry, which I'm actually really happy I decided to take the last term because a lot of what we learned inside the class is gonna be useful and we're gonna cover it again in our first year of medical school. So it's just gonna be fresh inside my head. But I do just wanna make a note that most pre-meds don't have the privilege to take biochem in their last term of college. And that's because it's on the MCAT. But luckily for me, I actually didn't have to take the MCAT. But to find out more about why I didn't have to take the MCAT, just click this video into the top right corner. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please drop a like and make sure to subscribe. And until next time, peace.